Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you heal, this shit real. Bullets go through flesh. Imagine what it'll do to your bones. Before rap, I was trying to be a real estate agent. Kept putting my enemies in funeral homes. Nigga, fuck is you on? Cleaning straps. I tried to be a magician. It ain't work. Kept making niggas disappear, but couldn't bring them back. Nigga. <laughs> in pieces the cause of his death is adhd the doctor said i caused his mind to scatter i'm a fucking time traveler i can rewind your lifespan backwards you're watching a grind time rapper venus fly trap on a smack white battlers and then i'll stand on the sideline holding up a wide size banner that says app lives matter <laughs> you motherfucking gangbanger you's an idiot you gang bang on civilians oh red said crab in your face three times in one sentence and you let him finish it so yeah you could talk about the math shit but all he had to do was say it two times for me for i did this shit <laughs> you already know what it is man salute to the subscribers that notification gang etc etc don't let none of that get too far ahead of you salute to my guy showtime sp the nobody that knows bodies the ambassador of that notification gang his birthday is today um, salute to him. He just turned like 65. He's like a young old nigga, but like an old but a young nigga. That's my brother from another father who didn't use a rubber. Um, salute to my guy. I'm going to put his cash app up. If you want to shoot him something for his birthday, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you volunteer to give him, you know what I'm saying? Just shoot him whatever. Um, you know, may send a dollar, may send him 50 cents, may send him $5, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure to make his day. Um, GTX Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Um, salute to GTX. Salute to everybody that put this whole thing together. Yo, I've been so busy recently. I did a prediction blog for this battle and never even got to drop it. Like it's in the can. It's it, it's in the car. Like it got it got vaulted. Like I've just been so busy. Um, right now it's like two in the morning and I'm doing this. But I figured I'd do my recap of Geechee Gotti versus Diz and just put it out. You know what I'm saying? In the morning or whatever the case may be. Because, you know, once the kids get involved, the people, you know, they be busy. Niggas be busy. Niggas got lives. But uh, I did get to peep a lot of the event. I'm going to recap Geechee versus Diz. And then I'll do another one for A-Ward versus Clean Paper. I did see both battles in their entirety. And I have winners for both. Because I know everybody theoretically does not watch the pay-per-view. So they go to, and I feel like, in other channels to get the recap. So... Let's just get into it. So, I do, you know, have some bars, whatever the case may be. Salute to IMHBY on Twitter. He be doing all the notes and puts out all the notes for all the battles. Like I said, I be busy as fuck. So, sometimes I just see the joints that he writes. And I remember because I seen the battles. But, um, in, the, in the spirit of the West Coast, disaster has been a figurehead in the West for quite some time, you know what I mean? Geechee Gotti came up, we all know his accolades, we know what he's done, we know what he's won. Um, and as of late, you know, Geechee Gotti has been taking a lot of criticism from a lot of people, myself included at times, for being on every f***ing card, you know what I'm saying? Geechee Gotti got another battle. He battles today, and then he got Rosenberg Raw coming up in like another two weeks. And then after that, he probably has another battle, another battle, and he's probably gonna be on Summer Madness. Geechee Gotti is battling all the time. See, the thing is, there's nothing wrong with battling all the time if you're bringing smoke. Like, when the product gets stepped on and you're, you're not bringing it, your A-game, like the battle versus hollow, he knows the battle versus hollow was not a good battle. He knows from whether it be rappers, whether it be media, whether it be con, he knows that that was not a good battle. His first and second rounds were, third was a Geechee Gotti round. He did good in the third round. but. Um, he comes into the GTX situation, the battle against Disaster. Quite obviously, Disaster is in charge. He's running um, GTX. You know, him and his partners is running GTX. They're putting this thing together, and they got Geechee Gotti on the card. Um, I, like I said, there were uh, some other battles on the card that I did see. Uh, I did see Marv 1 versus Satire. Um, it was good to see Satire back in his bag. Uh, I had Marv 1 winning that battle. I saw Active versus Theory Truth. Uh, Active got that one. It was like a 30. I don't know. I, I, it, it just wasn't the greatest look for him. Um, 
And who else did I see? Uh, I seen I was in and out of Excel versus uh, Reverse Live, and then um, I seen some of the Chef Trez versus Chef Trez and the Source was actually pretty good too. But anyway, back to um, and I saw A Word versus uh, Clean Paper. So to the Gichi Gotti battle, um, him and Diz. I don't want to jump out the window and use the C L A S S I. You know the cla cla. I don't want to use that word. But this is a very, very, very good battle. Because like I said, Gichi Gotti was facing a lot of criticism. And he definitely answered. To me, from just watching this battle, he definitely answered the call in the battle. But Diz, like when it comes to Diz, a lot of people, you know, they're, Diz got a huge fan base. I've seen Diz battle before. I was there when Diz battled Oxymoron. You know what I'm saying? I've seen him battle in other joints. I've seen Gichi Gotti battle before too. Um... But Diz, in this battle, he would have to bring his A game, but it couldn't be way too much overkill of filler. You know what I'm saying? Like, lyrical, miracle, uh, Michael Rifle Cycle. Da, da, da. Like, you got to get to a punch because Gigi Gotti raps EFB every fucking bar. So he's going to start scoring points with these punches. And if you're just having, like, uh, eight to ten bar setup that gets to a punch a lot of that stuff in there. It's got to be more condensed I will say this in this battle Gichi Gotti Did his thing oh, and, and Diz did his thing too. I'm not gonna lie. Diz definitely surprised me I do got some bars and I want to go through some um, In Diz first round He comes out and uses a ward as a pantomime. You know what I'm saying a ward comes out 30 this 30 that you get 30 again um, look at me, look at me, uh, make you holy again. Um, then Diz had a bar about, uh, used to, used to go on them long ass coffee runs. The only bitch you ever battled, you know what I'm saying? The only bitch in battle rap you ever caught a body from. He was saying that, you know, uh, you battled, you said you caught, it's karma. You called everybody a bitch until you battled one and you lost. He was talking about him battling jazz. And then he, um, he had the bar about the Chrissy Teigen, uh, the only reason he's being seen, the only reason he's close to being seen is because he's with a legend. Uh, he had a Joe Rogan bar. He had a Buzz Lightyear Slaughterhouse member wordplay. He had a smack as your personal overseer of your whole career. He throws a spear like Scorpion, get over here. Like saying like if Geechee wants to make a move or any of the rappers wants to go anywhere or do anything, he throws a spear like get over here. I thought that that was fire. Um, he said, uh, I'll make you suck my with a red condom on. And then he had a line about the uh, clapping toasters. Uh, he said he said the toasters. He said he was clapping toasters. He said close to the toaster, like white people committing suicide in the bathtub. You know, suicide toaster in the bathtub. Uh, half your accolades kept on a battle rap app that half the fans don't want to get. He said he was he was breaking them down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have to be a vet. You have to do respect. Half your accolades is on an app that the fans don't even want to get. That's true because that app. It's not that. I pay because, you know, I support the culture. But I, I, he, he, was de he was dead right. Half your accolades is on an app that most of the fans don't want to get. I definitely respected that because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have it either. Um, he said, uh, Rodney King, you only known for one big riot event. I like that joint. Uh, he said, he said, you the type, he said, you oh, talk all this gangster stuff, but you the type of friend that sends a did you get home late night text. Uh, he said, uh, the perfect business model was living his life from check to check. And then he said, uh, Kevin Gates have no problem putting, because this had a very complete first round. I really was interested in a lot of the, what, what angles and what, what he was going to do against Gotti. Very solid first round. Geechee comes out. Uh, he, 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 he rebuttals the accolades line. Uh, he said he can't believe no gangster sh from somebody with hoochie daddy shorts. Cause you know, Diz had the shorts on whatever the case may be. Uh, then he said, uh, Lightening up, all they're going to say is the faster struck, hit his section with so many shells, indigestion. He said, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. he had another line, uh, this, this, he said, this bitch stick beside a Chris, Crip, like Chris, Chris Shane Rock, Christian, you know, Bluetooth, the girl that be with Bluetooth, blue face, Bluetooth, the one that be with her, yeah, got to stick behind a Crip, like Christian Rock. Um, I thought that that was fire. Uh, he had, he had another line where he said, um, he said, uh, murders was part of my puberty. He said, uh, while you was riding horses in Lebanon, I was doing drive-bys and Mustangs. I had to fight in a small circle like a mosh pit. 
put a tag on him like you do those purple jeans. Then he had the, uh, the code word bankrupt. I like that. Have something to spin. Who ain't got it all? And then he had a wordplay, the ops, the wordplay segment. First round was very, very good for both MCs. I'm not even gonna hold you. I had to, I had the round, I'm, I'm teetering towards Geechee in the first round, but I loved what Diz did in his first round too. Second round, Diz comes out, uh, he said, him and Frat stay so close. He said, you, um, he said, you a cookie cutter crip. Uh, you gotta find Jazz and somehow retrieve your balls from a purse. He had a Mortal Kombat Jax line, those always work. Uh, Mossberg put his body in a mausoleum. Then he had the LSC angle where the LSC broke up and he was blaming, you know, Geechee Gotti. Once Geechee Gotti got big, uh, he had a James Harden comparison. He said, You put in, he said, I'm putting in work overseas like Giannis while you were hating on my Euro steps. I like that joint. He had the uh, flash in the pan like Zion. I don't think Zion is a flash in the pan though. This I did hear that flash in the pan like Zion, but Zion been injured and he should be back. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna hold. But I like the line. But we're gonna hold it. We're gonna hold the line. Uh, I was the man while you were barely making a band like Dylon. Then he had an EFB angle. He said, "Uh, yo, this was fire. We can't build an empire off your pictures with Drake." Saying, you know, like you you. He he was like really getting into him about the EFB. He was like, your click is a fake. Your shit is a mistake. We can't build an empire off your pictures with Drake. Like he was showing the levels. And showing the, the West Coast supremacy in the second round. We can't build an empire off your pictures with Drake. Uh, he said, every day is your birthday because they sending you cake. You know what I'm saying? They sending you your cake. He was talking about the leagues and the battles and shit. Uh, Geechee comes into his second round. Uh, he said, I would have turned that head down. I would have, uh, he said, I would have turned down that lick. Then he said, uh, he had a line about, you know, shooting him in the shin. If this is your last battle, you're going out on a limb. Then he, then Geechee starts getting personal. You afraid of anyone that eats chopped cheese or got on some Tim's? He's talking about New York niggas. Taking this pussy on the road would have been considered as sex trafficking. He was like, you don't want to battle. He said, you won't leave LA to get a battle. He's like, he's acting it. He was like, taking this pussy on the road would be sex trafficking. I like that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Geechee was getting mad personal this second round. Uh, he said, uh, made it made it to God's house in the morning, express packaging. He said, the only, he said, oh, he was talking about falling off. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, how y'all consider me falling off when I battle clips, I battle this person. He said, I'm the only person that clearly beat the killy, clearly killed Lux. That's a fun fact. I done fucked up more names than drunk smack. That shit was fire. I ain't gonna hold you. When he said that, I said, oh, I said, oh, so now you want to rap. Hollow, you was just up there doing some bullshit, but now this, now you want to rap. Give me my L back. Give me, give me that shit back. You don't deserve that. He said, I done fucked up more names than drunk smack. That was crazy. Um, he said, uh, he said jumping. He said, me jumping, the only thing that's going to be jumping is your gut. Oh, wait, hold on. I ain't, I ain't, whoa, 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 whoa. I done fucked up more names than drunk snack. He said, uh. He said, I knocked the Earl at him. He said, uh, he said, get tired of standing in li like crowded lines. He said, you just might pee without the girl problems. He said, you swung on math. That shit looks scripted. Damn near missed it. You did that and thought my Jews wouldn't clean up the mess. He said, uh, he said, jump me. The only thing that's gonna be jumping is your body when the gun dumping. He said, you and Daylight jump math and apologize the same night. Then he talked about them niggas having a fake fight. That shit was crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Dude. He's wilding in his second round. Uh, he said, I ain't got no injuries but some scars on his toes. TLC. And then um, he was just going in like Geechee's second round. He was just wilding. I ain't gonna hold you. This second round was fire too. Geechee's second round was fire too. I get to who I have winning the rounds in a second. I just wanna get through the bars. Third round. These mother, well, not these, because it's Diz Lee. Unlimited round, son. Yo, look at what time it is, bro. It is 2.21 in the morning, and I'm recapping this. Diz just stopped rapping his third round like 20 seconds ago, son. His third round was crazy. It was around, these niggas' thirds is mad long, but you know what? I know somebody that, that's watching this that didn't get the pay-per-view, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through the bars. Fuck it, third round. Diz says, how are you loyal to the code? Old Red said, crab in your face and you let him finish it. He said, math said it two times before I did that shit. True, do it, do it. Then he swung the crowd reacted to that. 
This is getting into this third round. He says, uh, he says, uh, he said, ADHD, his mind will splatter. I like that joint. He said, wide size banner that says app lives. He said, now I'll stand outside with a wide size banner that says app lives matter. Not app lives matter. Cause you know, he's on the app and shit. Uh, metric tongues to ounces. He said, the moment they announced it, you were pronounced dead. Washed up bars should get buried in a septic tank for all that watered down shit. He said, Lush was on drugs when he found him. Uh, let me keep going. He said, uh, he said, Chris, he said, oh, he said, I'll bury you. He said, I'll put you on a milk carton. Uh, I'll bury you in a blue mailbox that's a crib coffin. Uh, he said, I'm giving out a warning twice. And Flavor Flav, Big Clock'em, Charlie Clips jogging. Throw a ball head in the crowd. Will Smith, Chris Rock'em. He's going through a lot of material now. He's, and now he's like moving. Do, 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 do. Ball head, Chris Rock'em, do the crowd. And like, I, you know what? Y'all niggas know what this do. I ain't got to do all that. Uh, he said, uh, this said, uh, can't pick his brain. There's really no way for me to eat off of him. Beatboxing. Then he said, Jack Boy Main with a golf club. I'll tee off on him. I got what you were saying, but there's your way, 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 way above a line like Jack Boy Main with a golf club. I'll tee off on him. I, I'm not hating. I got no reason to. I'm showing love, but to me, that bar was just. I nothing more. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, Randy Jackson, the Tupac exchange. I like that. He said uh, the Renaissance. He had the Renaissance rhymes versus the Crown Cry. He said the Riddick, the Lights Off, the Uma Thurman, and Kill Bill removing the eye that you got. I like that one. Uh, I want my flowers now. This is the plot. He had the time cop line. He had uh, this. Oh, then he started talking about when you rap, it's a tax write off. I battle Swave and bodied the whole city with him. Your era was well conditioned in areas with air condition. Ride their way to top tier position. Yo, the new era angle that Diz had in his third round was so fire. It was like you measly snitches, you do all of this, and then y'all go wash Beasley dishes. Like he was really in a good pocket of work in his third round. I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling like, and I feel like after the second round, I said, if the fans call it 1-1, if they do, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking, uh, and I can be like 1-1-2 in the third round. Diz had a very, very solid third round. I'm like, yo, Geechee going to need some sh in his third round because not only was this round unlimited, it was unlimited, yet, yeah, you know, he has them lines with the multis and multis and multis, but the punches that he was actually getting to was super fire. So I said, Geechee gonna need some shit in his third round. The nigga third round was his best round in the battle. What? Let's get into what Geechee got he said in his third. Yo, this I ain't got no reason to cap. Uh, he said, you mad at me because y'all was on the corner rapping for free. Like he, I guess that was maybe a pseudo rebuttal. Then he said, GTX is just king of the dot with cheese. I was like, yo. When you think he said GTA, he said, you said just think about it. Lush in the center, Diz main eventing. This is KOD TD, but just less organic. That shit was hidden. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna look around, look around. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, he said you didn't have no league until I had the riot jumping. He said the fresh coats movement is all dweebs. They forgot who the West was, and it was my job to get the identity back. He said, I don't care how many languages you speak, you don't speak for us. He said, no, 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 no. So, so shout out to HB for, why, for the way he wrote it. He said, he's not in the streets enough. I don't care how many languages you know, you don't speak for us. When he said that shit right there, bruh, I said, yo. Cause this dude me known for speaking that language, but he told him you ain't in the streets too much. I don't give a fuck how many languages you know. You don't speak. When he said that shit right there, I said, okay, this is the Geechee. This, this is the Geechee that we know. This is the Geechee that we came to love. This is the Geechee that we put in this position. Cause oh, don't get Geechee, don't get it twisted for a second, nigga. We put you there. We, as in all of us fans, we put you where you at. We put you up there because of the shit like that that you was doing. Don't make us come get, we'll come get you, motherfucker. We'll, we'll come get you. Same way we put you up there. Yeah, 
man, it's gonna be the next motherfucker. We gonna put them up there too. Easy, we about to put him up there. When you niggas is nice, we gonna put you up there. But when we put you up there, we expect you to be cooking. We don't expect you to get up there and then just be on some bullshit. I like this third round. Let me keep going. I don't wanna get off track. You know what I'm saying? Too much, or too much. Let's do third. So um, he says he tells him that uh, you don't speak for us. He says you pop Addies. And you'll pull out and Addy Pop. He said he had a dish and lust angle. He was talking about, you know, them being gay. He said, how, how, how you niggas this old and ain't got no children? That shit was crazy. Uh, he said, you know, he probably wrote his deed to the venue. He said, front line. He said he was talking about active. Saying he front line for all your beef. He says, easy to get stabbed in the back. He was going with the active angle. He was basically saying that active is disaster security. And that, you know, if you cared about active as much as you say you do, Active had the worst battle on the card. It was a 3-0, but he, the nigga, he battled Theory Truth, who, you know, I rock with Theory Truth as a person, but the battle just was not good. Like, it was not, it was, it was bad. It was, it was, I'm not even going to do that to him, no. Um, so he said, uh, <laughs> he said, you know, if Active blow up, he won't have time to be your security no more. You give me 20, 30K, Active he said, uh, he said, active is the only reason you and Lush don't get robbed for the door money and niggas make you strip. He said, um, he said, whip and chain. He said, you know, basically whip and chain, you a slave master. He said, all these dudes be ducking active because they don't fuck with you. He said, I used to take her cane like the funeral. Uh, and I keep, for oh no, he said, like the brothers of destruction. That was a fire line too. He said, I was bugging out. He said, oh, he said, I was bugging. He said, if we drove by and niggas missed, I would take him out the game. I was subbing. I was like, oh, my God. He said, uh, I could have been a real estate agent, but I kept putting my enemies in funeral homes. So many deaths. I can't make it to every funeral. I keep forgetting they dead. I like that shit, too. Uh, he said, uh, "He said I tried to be a magician. I made niggas disappear, and I couldn't bring them back. He said, I was the shooter in the trenches before Columbine. I was contracted to the streets without a DocuSign. Yo, I know there's a lot of niggas who, you know, who don't be getting contracts, don't buy houses. I just, I sold a house not too long ago. They said, when you're not there, they send you the contract, you DocuSign it, and you, you know, it becomes a PDF and you send it back. That shit hit, my nigga. That shit was fire. I was contracted to the streets without a DocuSign. Uh, he had, yo. <sighs> That shit was fire. All right, and he had a couple more lines in there. I honestly got Geechee winning the battle 2-1. Uh, I got Geechee winning the first and the third. I got Diz Edge in the second. That's just my personal opinion. There's going to be people who feel like Diz won 3-0. There's going to be people that feel like Geechee won 3-0. There's going to be people that feel like it was a debatable or a classic. But I will tell you this. Uh, both of them guys went in. They did their motherfucking thing. And uh, the West Coast should really be applauded because GTX put together a fire, fire battle. Now, you know... I'ma just, uh, in order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest, the event was way too long. You know what I'm saying? On the, and I know they're on the West, so they probably ended at like 9 o'clock daytime. It's damn near 2 o'clock on the East Coast. There was a lot of commentary in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the commentators and all that shit. But when you're waiting, sometimes you, they, you, they get a look. It's a Friday night. It's not Saturday, it's Friday. A lot of niggas work today. They're getting off and then they wait yeah, they're online all night. And that was different. That was a Friday night event. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna complain too much about it because I was working anyway, so it really didn't matter. I was watching the shit. I had the headphones in and I was still vibing. But um I do got Geechee winning. This is one of this is Geechee's most complete performance since the Lux battle. Everything else since then, no, except for Body and Mike P. But that was only in one round. So this was his most complete performance. Uh this is the level of, of, of rapper that I expect from Geechee Gotti. I, I expect this. You go battle Rosenberg Raw on the 20th or the 21st of Philly, I expect this. This is the level of, uh, of, of shit that I expect. Don't just show up just because you're getting paid 20, 30, whatever you're getting, and don't bring your A. Nigga, bring your A game every time. You got to sit niggas down, bro. You got to. Um, Diz did his thing. He was definitely in a bag. He, was, he took good angles at Geechee. He definitely was trying to get that win in there. I ain't gonna hold you. There are gonna be people who feel like this one, but I feel like Geechee Gotti got this one. But it was a fire battle overall, you know what I'm saying? When it does drop GTX, I'm sure they should drop on YouTube. Um, follow GTX, follow Disaster, follow Geechee Gotti, and salute to the hip.